I don't know what's going on right now over here. I don't know if I won, if I lost. I've got like six amp bites. I broke off a piece of my serrano pepper. There's ants scurrying all over my garden. I remember as a kid, my grandfather would go from ant pile to ant pile in his yard with a can of gasoline and matches, and he would light, he would pour some gas and light them on fire and kill the ants instantly. Well, I'm not gonna do that in my yard, nor am I recommending you do that in your yard. What follows is my experimentation with orange oil to get rid of ants. Now, you'll see that I was a little bit impatient, that it does take a little bit of patience um, for this stuff to work, but it does work. But first, let me talk real quick about fire ants and things I learned about fire ants. When you kill them in their pile and they all don't die, what they'll do is they'll separate the dead ants from their eggs. The reason they do that is they want to protect the colony from disease. Number two, they will come back for their eggs if they're able to. If you run them off and they leave their eggs behind, they'll come back. It's pretty fascinating. Number three, ants do have some benefit to your garden. Number one, they'll aerate the soil wherever they are. You know, ant piles are real light and airy. Uh, so when they leave a pile behind, that soil is nice and aerated. Uh, they'll also eat some pests in the garden. I think like cockroach eggs and some other um, aphid eggs and some things like that, they will kill those, uh, those pests. Um, they also help decompose organic matter. We've all seen ants on some dying animal carcass or even just, um, just other organic matter in your garden. They'll help break it down to where your plants can use it. But in the end, I don't like red ants they can go do their business somewhere else. So this orange oil was a safe, nice alternative to burning them or using some synthetic chemical. So check out my uh, saga with the red ants. Hey y'all, what's up? It is Eric and I hate ants. I mean, I love my Aunt Martha and my Aunt Sylvia, but I hate red ants, right? The kids got memories of just running through fields and stepping in an ant pile and those ants crawling on my leg and they itch. Oh, they're terrible. My daughter gets ant bites and she absolutely hates them. She's sometimes afraid to go in the grass. They're just terrible. And when we got chickens our first time around a long time ago, we became very aware of not using toxic chemicals or anything in the yard that could impact the chickens. And we just kind of got into that habit. So when we, um, when we can help it, we try to use anything that's organic and non-toxic. For a long time, we've been boiling water, pouring out ant piles, but it is just takes, it's inefficient. It takes a long time to boil water. It doesn't, all, doesn't kill them all. They just go somewhere else. So I am gonna try something new. We're always learning here on Gardenomics 101. So I came across uh, an article, talked about using orange oil. So I went and bought some concentrated orange oil. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dilute it with some water here, and we're gonna see if it kills red ants. I don't know what's gonna happen, we're gonna find out. Let's go. All right, y'all, so here's what we do. We have our gallon of water right here, and we have our, oh, it smells delicious. Mm. I love the smell of orange. So this is highly concentrated, so we only want two ounces. Eh, this isn't science class, so we are just gonna guess. That's about two ounces. Ooh, it's bubbling, it's sizzling. Mm, it smells so good. We're gonna cover it, just give it a good shake. Let's go find some ants. All right, I think they can sense me coming. We already have some, some ant activity here. we we'll poke them around. Do we to see them coming? Oh, look at that. All right, so we're learning here. Let's see what happens. First thing we'll do is kind of make a little hole to be able to pour the, the oil in. Look how mad they are. Let's see what happens. All right, the video I saw seemed super promising, but now I have nothing but a bunch of pissed off ants that smell like orange. And they got all, all on my hand. You see that bite right there? They're proving why I don't like them. Maybe I just need a higher dosage. 
I don't know. We're gonna have to try again. I'm gonna do just for the heck of it. I'm gonna pour straight orange oil on them. Let's see what happens. It's gotta kill them for sure, huh? Ooh, look at that stuff. Ooh. So happy if it works. I don't know. I don't know, yo. I don't know. They look like they're struggling a little bit. I'm not sure if that worked. Just a bunch of ants now scattering all over my yard. I know the oil will deter them. And I gotta imagine I killed some of them. I'm not sure. So here's what I'm gonna do now. I've got this peppermint spray. It's really good to repel pests. I don't think it kills them, but it repels them. They don't like the smell of peppermint. So I'm just gonna spray all around my plants just to maybe encourage them to go somewhere else. This stuff is super mild. I don't know what's going on right now over here. I don't know if I won, if I lost. I've got like six ant bites. I broke off a piece of my serrano pepper. There's ants scurrying all over my garden. I'm about to come back out tomorrow and see what the, uh, what the collateral damage is. All right, some good news. Most of the ants are gone. Where they were really bad, you can see they are no longer active. I guess I was just being impatient. The good news is all their eggs are still here, so they didn't come and move their eggs, which I guess is good news. Bad news is when I first came out here, I saw just some ants randomly moving around the garden. You can see there's a bunch right there. So what I did was I made another mixture of our oil, our orange oil. So I'm just gonna make some holes here. I'm gonna be more patient this time. Make some holes. I saw some over here as well. We're just gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of our mixture. The bad news is they made a pile in my mango plant. Ooh, not happy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, a milder concentration of this um, orange oil because I don't want to damage the mango. I don't want to take any chances. So I'd rather make a, uh, um, a lighter dose and give it a little bit more time and run those ants off. Let's go see what happens. Look at that. Look at that. That does not make me happy. They're active. Moving, moving their eggs around. All of my beautiful mango tree. So this orange oil, if it's too concentrated, it'll kill what it comes in contact with. So I went ahead and made a lighter um, mixture, less less strong. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and find a stick here in the ground. I'm gonna poke some holes. Be careful not to get bit like I did yesterday. I see him make a little pile over here behind the, the mango tree. So now with my less powerful concoction, I'm just gonna pour. This could be devastating for my mango tree and I might learn a very valuable lesson here today, y'all. But we'll see. I'll put it around the back. I think that this is a pretty mild concentration but we'll see what we 
they dislike the smell of oil, of the, of the orange. You can see them running up the stem. Trying to get away. They are not happy. They are not happy at all. All right, now we just wait and see. Be patient, unlike yesterday. It's pretty awesome here. <laughs> I don't know if it's the smell or what, but you can see them like jumping off that leaf right there. I don't know if they're slipping, if they're losing their balance. They're just, you can see them falling all off that pot. Everywhere. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right, y'all, the moment of truth. Let's see if they're gone. So far, so good. No ants in my mango. There are no ants down here. Let's see, there's no ants back here either. All right, all right, all right. My mango still looks to be doing okay. Sweet. All right, this is fascinating to me. I come out here to record a video on how great orange oil is and getting rid of my ants. And I'm sitting here watching these ants in my mango. But what's interesting to me is I think they came back for the eggs because every single one of them is carrying an egg or the perlite that's in the that's in the soil mixture. They must think it's an egg. Round two, round two. All right, so here's my takeaway on orange oil. It works. It might not kill them on the spot. It might take a little while to get rid of them, but the ants are gone. They did come back. They took their belongings. They went somewhere else. I'll find them and I'll keep chasing them off. But if you got ants in your yard and you don't want to use chemicals, orange oil for the win. Until next time.